Hi, it's Chester Topwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training. In this video, we're in Excel. I'm going to use an X lookup. And what I want to do is to retrieve the last transaction for a particular brand within this transaction list. And what I want to do is I want to return multiple uh, values uh, from that lookup. I want to return the product name, the quantity purchased, and the payment type. Uh, we can do this all with one XLOOKUP because XLOOKUP can return an array of values rather than just a single value. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to return values from non-contiguous columns. So in other words, what I mean by that is I want to return the product and the quantity, but also the payment type. So they are non-contiguous columns. So we're going to look at how that is possible uh, using XLOOKUP. Now, this is a wildcard lookup, which is possible with uh, XLOOKUP. So what I would do is I'm looking initially for J Oliver branded products. So I concatenate that with a wildcard character. That basically means begins with J Oliver. Now, my lookup array is the uh, product column. So I click there, control shift down arrow key, F4 to fix the reference. That also takes me back to my uh, formula now the return array so this is the tricky bit because we want to return multiple columns which is fine with xlookup that's fine but it's non-contiguous columns so an excellent way of doing that is to use the choose function uh, choose function its first argument is index so if the index number was one you'd return value one if the index number was two you'd for return value two and obviously you can specify value one, value two, value three, etc. Now we're going to want to um, return three values. So value one is going to be the product column, value two is going to be the quantity column, and value three is going to be the payment type column. We want to return all three of those columns. So we can create an array of index numbers. So I open a uh, brace bracket, I say one, comma two, comma three, close the brace bracket. So value one is the product column. So this column again, control shift down arrow key F4, comma. Then I want the quantity column. So that'll be there, control shift down arrow key F4. And then last of all, I want the payment type column. So click there, control shift down arrow key F4. And then I close the bracket for choose. Now, I do need to take care of the other arguments in XLOOKUP. Uh, one, I'm doing a wildcard uh, match, so there is a particular setting for that. If not found is the argument I'm currently not on. I'm not worried about that. I'm always going to find these brand names, comma, but when we get to match mode, which we're on now, I need to specify that I'm doing a wildcard character search because I'm using that uh, asterisk character there, comma. And what I want to do is return the last transaction, not the first. So I go to search last first, close the bracket, press enter, and you can see, I'll copy this down, that it does indeed return those non-contiguous columns. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Hopefully you found it useful. Please subscribe if you have, and I'll see you next video. 